Greetings everyone and welcome to a new short series for the channel where we're going to be checking out the alpha game mechanic Minor. Now, it might not look like very much right now because we're on the splash screen and it isn't much of a splash screen uh, to, to speak of and no music yet. But don't worry, we will be getting to the music and the beautiful graphics in all in good time. Now, as a quick uh, forward, Mechanic Miner is... Well, it's a 2D construction slash survival game. Imagine if Scrap Mechanic were in 2D and were more of a steampunky sort of oriented game which did have enemies and things you could fight. Or, if you would prefer, imagine a steampunk sci-fi version of Pixel Piracy with less towns and more you just kind of sat there building your boat. Or a 2D pixelated version of From the Dead. There are so many games that I could compare this to where it has similarities in some ways but not in others. Honestly, it's going to be easier if we just jump into the game to check it out for ourselves. Now, this game is uh, available in a way. Um, you can't buy into the alpha. Instead, you can join a kind of uh, a, a sort of a... Uh, a mailing list, I suppose, uh, through their main website, and they're pretty much just picking um, subscribers at random as they go through and sending out um, new batches of keys as they can to invite people into the alpha. But, but they're taking it slowly. This is a very, very new title, and there's lots of bugs to work through. But for what is there already? Oh, I'm enjoying it. I must be honest. Right, Dapper Adele. Uh, we're going to be going through the story mode. You can play in creative if you want to. Terrain mode, default, there's no really other options. So then we can skip the tutorial or not. I, I think it's probably best if we don't, if I'm perfectly honest, because, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm fairly new to the game myself. Now, uh, this game is developed and, in fact, published by Still Play and will be available on Steam sometime in this year. But let's jump into the game and find out what it's about, shall we? Hell. I was finally close to my journey's end. This planetoid which had so tickled my scientific mind. Quite evidently, Hell was playing tricks with the luminiferous ether itself. Very well. This, I imagine, is our ship. And this is us. Look at our majestic beard. Well, that didn't go so well to begin with. Look at our majestic beard and our steampunky goggles and our top hat. As I approached the planetoid, ether potential had increased steadily. I did not think much of it until one night I was awakened by such and such. Let's uh, open that up again. Uh, there we go. I uh, did not think much of it until one night I was awakened by a violent discharge which shook the ship. I proceeded to assess the damage. Uh, <laughs> my lord. Well, I guess this was a, a long, a long journey. Uh, press and hold to grapple and move. Very well. Let's put our stuff back the way it should be. There we go. Uh, no, no, that's in front of me. Can I jump over it? Yes, I can. Almost. And knock it over as well. Aha! Onwards! Hydroponics, I suppose. The damage to the ship appeared to be extensive. Most disconcerting, though, was the silence. I could no longer hear the steady hum of... Can we assess a steady hum of the engine? Uh, we can excavate things and gather wood. Marvelous. This, this kind of reminds me of the intro to uh, Starbound, I've got to be honest. Uh, there we go. Let's grab all of you. I want plenty of wood, please. Thank you. Thank you. Marvelous. More and more and more. There we go. Can I gather anything else? Uh, right. I was stopped in my tracks and needed to be creative. Using the nearby wood resources, I could quickly build a small bridge with a my multi-tool. Very well. And can I, can I do this? Uh, oh, I've, I've got to continue to excavate. Okay. Okay. We will continue to excavate since it seems so important to you that I do so. Uh, I guess we probably want all of these resources where we uh, proceed. Uh, thinking about it, that is probably exactly the situation. All right. There we go. So I've excavated everything. Now. Do I, do I just do, uh, no, 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 my resources, no, 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 I, I, I'm a massive derp, please come back, why, why, why must you, uh, can I jump down there, I can, I can kill myself, and then start with all the, uh, apparently, oh, oh, 
Maybe I get many more. Let's see if I can get it. Loads. Um, no. Okay, well, we're off to a resoundingly good start. Uh, instead, I need to build planks. Ah, okay. Well, I'd like to build many, many planks. Can I? Can I? Oh, can I gather them? I can! Ha-ha! You can't stop me from getting getting my, uh... My... My... <laughs> my wood is what was going through my mind. And then I realized what I was saying. Uh... Dear me. All right. So, with this, we can, I think, just... There we go. It's just I couldn't build with regular wood. Ow, I hit myself with my own bridge. What a stupid thing that was. Can I... Can I... Can I gather my bridge? Can I... Oh, I, I can drag my bridge. Can I can I retake my bridge? I I I want to unmake my bridge. Can can I unmake things? Is there an unmake option? I can blueprint things and I can make tech. Oh, fine, whatever then. Uh, we're not gonna make more. I really wanted to bring that with me. Waste not, want not. Oh well. Right, we are at the main control. Press E to use. Uh, very well. As I feared, the helm did not respond, and worse, the ship's rever uh, reserves had been completely drained. Without power, the ship was a derelict. I made the only decision I could to abandon the ship. Very well. I assume I need to go down here? Yes, I do. And into my, my dapper gentleman's cave. It's not simply a man's cave. One doesn't have a top hat like this and, and have a man cave. I mean, come on. Uh, press E to use. Ether flux capacitor. I had theorized the possibility of harnessing this new form of energy. When hell was discovered, I decided to depart immediately. Here was the chance to test my invention. Uh, awesome, I guess. Can I harvest anything? No, I can't. Very well. Let's move on then. And down I go into what looks like an escape pod. Uh, at the very, uh, I was going to say, at the very least, it's padded, but, uh, ooh. Okay. That was moving very, very fast. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Hooray, music! Hello, me. Hello, crater. Can I, can I, no? What, what is wrong with being, being frugal with my limited resources on a new world game? Okay, well, I can, uh, excavate things. Also... The copper, by the looks of it. Marvellous. Let's continue on. Uh, I'm going to need pretty much everything. So, this is the part where you you uh, gather resources. Uh, the whole uh, survival kind of game, I guess. As far as I can tell, there's no particular like food or water, so it's not survival in that sense. But there are enemies, and the enemies will kill you. Uh, it, it doesn't seem to uh, completely reset you when that happens, though. You just kind of reload at some sort of nearby checkpoint. Reach the core, apparently. I reached a shallow pond filled with fierce-looking piranhas. I had noticed both wood and copper deposits in the area and went about constructing a simple vehicle in order to cross safely. Uh, reach the core. Uh, is that all I've got to do? Okay, well, fine. Uh, and this is pretty much the crux of the story mode. Uh, I'm not sure if it is... Can I can gather water. This is marvelous. But uh, I'm not sure if it is a part of creative, but it's certainly a part of this. So let's go ahead. It's going to show us how to build to begin with, which is rather nice of it, I suppose. All right, I need something else. I need an engine. And Elopalile. El... Aeolipile? Aeolipile engine! Oh my lord, this is going to be one of those games. Primitive engine that uses direct exhaust of steam to create a rotating motion. Uh, I need four copper, copper for this, very well. There we go, Donk. And now I need to make a boiler, I imagine? Yes. Uh, heat water into its gas form. Needs two copper for that one, and then we add uh, wood and water. And I go donk. There we go. And some wood. Donk. Perfect. Now I make a control. A pressure. Oh no, a control. A lever for operating machinery. Two copper. Very well. Thank you very much. Let's pop that in there. Now I've got to make wheels. Oh, it's fantastic. Uh, copper wheels needs two copper. A wheel made from copper, or I can make one from wood, I suppose. Um, is there any particular reason why I'd want to use my, my precious copper? Uh, I guess. Come on then, let's, let's make two. 
Two, please. Thank you. One and two. There we go. Connect the engine to the wheel via a circuit. Uh, I want a belt. I need one tenth of a copper to make each piece of belt. A looped band that can be used to transfer rotation. Oh, we're going to be a front wheel drive, are we? Oh, okay, fair enough. Uh, how many do we need? One, two, three, four, five. I, I'm not sure how much is there. One, two, three, four. I, I, I'm going to say it's about uh, five across six, seven, eight. Let's make eight of them then and hope that I've got the right amount. So, womp. And... Oh! I made too many. Okay then. Uh, these must be larger than I anticipated. Oh well, now I've got to cross the pond. Womp. But first, haha, I'm gonna go the other way. Yeah, I'm not gonna do what you want me to do, game. I'm gonna explore the vistas first. Uh, can I go over there? Or do I go... Ah, good. I go behind it. Marvelous. What else will I find out here? It, it, it wouldn't be one of my let's plays if I just followed the tutorial like a good boy. Oh, okay, I can't go that way. Or at least I very much doubt it. That looks a little bit deeper than the pond. All right, let's let's make our way. Oh, this is fantastic. But yes, everything is effectively simulated. This is a, a physics engine. I, I mean, you know, how much of physics is being simulated? Uh, well, you know, that's anyone's guess. But uh, yes, Piranha, I know. I know you, you, you desperately want to, to have, uh, have at me. But no, I refuse. I choose life. There we go. But whilst I'm here, I might as well gather some water since, uh, again, steampunk. In steampunk, steam is one of the most precious resources you could possibly get. And steam comes from water. Well, specifically hot water. Uh, there we go. And onwards. And we've got plenty. Ooh, across the pond. There we go. And, ah, no, no, don't drag it. I want to I want to gather the water. There we go. I can only imagine that would end in tears as, it, as I pitched myself into the drink and then immediately got nommed on. Uh, okay, well, uh, that was one thing. Uh, we're gonna want more wood so that we can build more things. You can you can make quite a lot of interesting stuff here. Uh, we've only only seen the very tip of the iceberg. Uh, very well, we've got a little area we can go in there, but instead I'm gonna gather all of these resources because I want more stuff. I'm not ready to go down yet, I don't think. I feel that that I'm fairly certain that these lead to bad places. I'm not sure how much of the story mode is procedural. Uh, I, I really couldn't say. Uh, but I do know... Oh, really? Okay, I guess I'm not going down. I guess I am going down, after all. So, but uh, I imagine story mode is a little bit more built than creative, where it, it seems a lot more procedural. Okay, I can only hold 100. Very well. Uh, let's go down. We'll take our little car with us as well. Okay, what have we got down here? Uh, apparently we've got something right there. What is this then? The prowling frogs called for a more aggressive stance. I decided to build a primitive weapon, a ballista, in order to deal with them. A uh, prowling frog? What? I, what? Um. Okay. Well, first and foremost, shift click, plus, uh, sorry, shift and, uh, left to delete. Uh, okay, what, what am I doing now? Oh, I'm expanding. Very well, I approve. Can I build into the ground? I can. Oh, well, that's marvellous. Uh, did I completely break my cobble? Oh, that's just silly of me. Oh, well. Womp. Okay, now I'm, now I'm straight down to weapons. Uh, I am missing two zinc. Uh, all right. I, I think we can take care of that. Uh, is there zinc around here? I bet it's going to... Yeah, it's going to be over here. Okay. Uh, can I actually reach that? Can I? Hmm. I mean, I feel that I should be able to reach it. And I mean, I've got a vehicle that I can just add bits onto, so there's no reason why I can't, really. I mean, I've got enough to make what I need right now, but let's just go ahead and... Oh no, can I not? Well, that is deeply, deeply frustrating. Can I, can I jump on the... No. I, I, I want it though. Ah, oh, makes me sad. Okay, well, we'll build a ballista and we will pop it right about there. Fantastic. I can use my ballista. Does it require wood? Oh, it does require wood. So let's pop. Oh, it's automatically got plenty of wood. Very well. Uh, can I? Uh oh. I don't trust you. The last time. Mm. Okay, womp. 
Okay, that that did work. I uh, wasn't wasn't sure about that, but I want the zinc and the copper. Hmm, I wonder. Can I can I just make something myself? It looks like I can. <gasps> oh, uh, well, womp, womp. Let me let me just grab all that back. First and foremost, then we want to make plenty of of wood, wooden planks. Yeah, sure. That's that's enough. Great. Uh, and then I'm going to build the stairs all the way up there so that I can harvest these precious materials. Unless I can now build... Oh, I can now build... Oh, it was just wanted me to re really, really aggressively wanted me to do what I wanted. Okay. Uh, okay, that's a little bit too high, apparently. Okay. Let's dig that back a little bit. All right. Now we're cooking with fire. Let's go back and gather those resources. Waste not, want not. You don't get a, a dapper top hat like this by being wasteful. No, no. Oh, sod it. Uh, we need to be a little, little bit higher up. So fine, let's do that. Perfect. Womp, womp. Now, can I? Ha 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 ha. There we go. No, come, come on. There we are. Perfect. Now I'm gonna have to take that away so I can actually shoot things with my ballista when the time comes. I can only imagine having a, a giant wooden barrier. In, ooh, that was... Um, hello? Uh, I'm taking it that that was not a wise idea. I think something fell on my my vehicle. Mm, oh, we can gather more wood by harvesting them. Oh. Yeah, why not? You know what? Sure. Can, can I really not gather that, though? That seems rather infuriating. Come on, let, let, let me, come. I, I will, ha ha! There we are. And we can also gather the wood from over here. Again, waste not, want not. There we are, though. I think, I think the game's like, really, really? What is this person doing? We've got all of these things to show show them. All of these wonderful new things, like the enemies and stuff. They can use a weapon. Why are they so obsessed with gathering the zinc? Well, you see, the reason why I'm so obsessed with gathering the zinc is because the zinc is required to build weapons. And, uh, yeah, maybe I'm, I'm going to want more than one ballista. Though, given that I need to use it, it uh, probably wouldn't be that useful. Uh, can I gather that? Is that something I've gathered? No, it is not. Very well. Moving on, then. Uh, right. What are we... Those are frogs. I'm not sure I, I agree, frankly. But sure, okay. Uh, Pachoo! No, we missed. Pachoo! No, I missed again. Haha! -ha, got you! Gotta aim a little bit higher. Wow, you are... Ooh! New tech! Yes! Let's have a look. Uh, okay, I've got, a, I've got a point, I think. Cost levels, one. I can have air pump tech. Unlocks programs, air pump and tether. I need level four for airship tech. Level four for submarine tech. Boat tech is level two. Steel weapon tech is level five. Mid tier storage tech is also two. High tier storage tech is 10. I don't know. I don't know how many different like tech levels exist, etc., etc. but uh, that's fine. Uh, can, can I can I close close that down? Go, go away. Uh, no, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't want, no, uh, there we go, right, we'll use something else. Right, I need to get a little bit closer so I've got a proper sight on them. Okay, ciao, there we go, and again, there's one down, looks like I have summoned your brethren though. Oh, drag, wait, and again, haha, -ha! take that. Uh, I can only assume that you are more dangerous than the other ones. Did I actually hit something? Uh, I may have, fantastic. I approve. Oh dear, I've got more. Oh dear. Reverse, reverse. Let's not play around with things. We've got plenty of room to reverse to. See if I can hit something. You. And once again, get reverse. I'm, I'm, there's no reason for me to play fair. There, ooh, more stuff has shown up. And again, so I guess that means that, oh dear, reverse quicker. Yes, plenty has shown up. Fantastic. So we could just harvest more materials if we found we'd run out. There we go. Uh, let's gather these. 
How much? I'm now level two. So I guess I could have boat tech. Ooh, I'm tempted to go back to the area above and go the other way because I am such a scallywag and uh, I enjoy infuriating games by not doing what they tell me to do. Plenty of wood over there, though, if I should want some. Uh, oh, what? What? Hang on. <gasps> Bake light. Uh, okay, well, look, I, I can I can turn my enemies into useful things. Protein, big, okay. Let's keep going back. I, I clearly misunderstood the use of their corpses. They are not merely trophies to decorate my great hall with. No, no, no. I will turn them into the great hall itself. Or, well, uh, my castle, great hall, castle. Uh, my one will move, though. I'm not a wizard, however. Um, though you might be forgiven for thinking so, I do have a very dapper hat. Uh, could we gather water from here, I wonder? Yes, we can. Wait a second. Yes, we can. Oh, that's very useful. So it just seems that uh, resources may actually just respawn, which is fantastically handy. Fantastically handy. Where are we going next? Oh, that explains why all that is green. I thought it might have been poisonous um, sludge or something, but no, it was actually just uh, green... Uh, greenery is there. Oh, do we go up this way? Maybe. Uh, we perhaps go up that way. Or we keep going. The, oh. Okay, that, that isn't some, some sort of weird vapor. No, it's just, just the, the game's way of, of... Well, it's an aesthetic choice, really. It's just dithering. Right, okay. Uh, where are we going now? We... Was that really entering or exiting? I think it was exiting because we, we can now see the sky. Uh, can I? Yes, we can. More wood. Fantastic. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this. We've got bones over here as well. Uh, can I? Can I? No. Oh, much sadness. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hmm. We need more. Let me see. Can I make any kind of storage? There's something about storage, isn't there? I can make ladders. I can make bricks. I can make plates. I can make copper coupling. A block that you could use to connect things with. Uh, well, that would be useful. Uh, transport, mostly just wheels. Boilers. There's various other things. I can make better engines. Uh, I need iron for that one, though. Circuits. Machinery. I can make a health generator. A device to generate health using protein. Oh. That sounds useful. And the flux capacitor. I need a stored flux and iron. Well, I don't have those. Uh, control. A switch. Weapons. Sharp spikes. Okay. Uh, accessories. A storage box. A, a bed. I can make... <gasps> this is marvellous. Uh, my inventory's... Well, that is less marvellous. Uh, drop. Drop those. No. Drop them. Can, can I... Drop. There we go. Yes, that is exactly what I want. I want a storage box. Build me one right now. And I will place this box right there. Fantastic. And then I would like my, my proteins back. And also, sure, I'll gather some more wood. I'll gather all of the wood. Why not, eh? Right. Press E to use. Very well. Oh, amazing. Right. Let's pop the wood in there. Uh, also, the bake light, whatever that is. And the protein. Uh, the zinc we can keep on us. Uh, the belts I'm probably going to use, frankly. Uh, actually, let's move these around. There we go. That's that seems reasonable. All right? Can I? Can I? No, no. I want to gather the stuff that I dropped. There we are. Now we are cooking with fire. Ah, oh, glorious times. I'm imagining this is either dirt or it is. I, I can just gather stuff. From... No, no. We can, in fact, gather quite a lot of things. Okay, well, can I have a look at my... In what have I got? I've got rocks and Bakelite. I have no idea what Bakelite is. But uh, let's just pop these things in there anyway. So there we go. Nice and tidy. Uh, we'll just pop that in there too. Perfect. Well, what else can we add there? So we've got accessories. I can make a sofa out of wood. A uh, bed out of wood, I, I guess. Primitive light source. I can make a candle, but I'm missing wax. Uh, that seems reasonable. Um, right now, it's, it's all... Front wheel drive. Hmm, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, let me go ahead and place down some more planks. And then right at the back, I want a little bit more as well. 
Mikua, I would like... Well, do I have enough? Yeah, I got enough for two more copper wheels. Perfect. Let's pop one copper wheel right there, and another copper wheel right here. I, I mean, it's not exactly going to be brilliant, but are they perhaps a little bit too close? I don't know. We will see shortly. Bump. Now then, let's see how this works. I mean, this is not a particularly well-built <laughs> vehicle. <laughs> I need suspension. I feel the suspension would be ideal right now. But at the very least, I can gather plenty, plenty of rocks. But uh, we'll see where we need to go. Apparently, I've got to get, try and get to the core, so I probably should try and do that. Uh, what can I make out of rock? No doubt it's going to be useful for something. Also, I've got this funny feeling that I'm going to want this stuff eventually. Right now, I don't know what it does, but eventually I'm gonna be like, oh, I wish I'd collected all those bones. Can I just drop that in there? Good. There we are. Let's drop all of that there too. Perfect. All right, I, that's, the, that's the last rock that I'm gonna collect, unless, unless it tells me I can make something amazing with it. Uh, foundation, foundations that I use to create static structures. Ah, right, well, that's quite useful. Is there anything else? A tiny tank. Uh, well, I mean, I could make a door, but for now, for now, we won't. Where are we headed off to? Oh, we've got, we've got a new biome. Glorious. Yeah, more water as well. Uh, okay. Uh, no. It's just regular wood, is it? Okay, well, I don't think we need any more of that. I've already got a hundred stack. Water, though, probably worth gathering, considering it is a, uh, a steampunk world. And again, water leads to steam, and steam leads to not running out of power, which probably leads to not dying, is my, my guess. There we go. <laughs> this is such a, such a janky vehicle. Such a janky vehicle. I, if, since, ooh, hello. Kapow! You know, the best way to, to greet someone is shooting them with a ballista. Uh, okay. <laughs> this is such a janky vehicle. But it's my vehicle, and I love it so. Uh, okay, well, uh, it looks like we're climbing up the mountain towards a another cave of some sort. Uh, let's, let's have a look around elsewhere first, though. What are we going to need to go in this direction? So I've got level two. Oh, I'm, I'm going quite far down. Uh, we are... It looks like we can just actually go this way. Well, maybe we should go back and check out that little cave in that case. Uh, hello. And kapow! Ah, oh, terrible shot. And I missed. On the plus side, it doesn't seem to, to mind too much, and I'm taking shots at it. There we go. And level three achieved. Ooh, we've got another cape. That one looks significantly more sinister, however, so we're going back. We're going back the way that we came. We're going to go in whatever whatever cave is up there. Can we? Ah, oh, marvelous, though. Um, I feel that... Uh, hmm. I feel that maybe it would be better if we had the wheels at either end moving us, rather than all the wheels at one end. I, I feel that that's just waiting for us to encounter a problem. So, how about then we build more belts? So, coming out in this direction. Oh, does that... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I bet that now only means that this wheel is turning. No, no, all of them are turning. Maybe because this one is turning this wheel. I... I I'm tempted to find out, actually. I'm really tempted. Super tempted. You know what? Oh! Physics, why? Ah! <laughs> okay. Can, can I rotate this around? Can I grab you from that side? Oh, okay. I like that. I do like that, actually. Right, okay. We, we can move things around a little bit. Oh, that was, that was potentially bad, but also fantastically hilarious. Where, where do my, where, there are my other planks. Can I, can I, hmm. Let's, let's move back to here and then try and build. Can I, hmm. It seems that maybe, ah, there we go. Okay. We had a slight hiccup. That's all. Just a slight one. Nothing that we need really worry about. I'm also going to want... Eh, let's build 20 of them. There we go. That'll be plenty. Doink. Right, can I run this belt all the way to the far side? Ah, oh, one shy. Fine, make me one. Doink. There we go. I've still got one, so maybe... maybe. 
This is exactly the problem I was trying to avoid. <laughs> Uh, maybe I need a one middle wheel. You know what? Sure. Okay. Uh, let's do that. You know no, there we go. And you, let's get rid of you. I mean, this would work, but let's not go with that. Let's let's pop something up down about there. Then we want one copper wheel. Bye here. And what? Wow. Perfect. One hundred percent awesome. Uh, right. There we are. Can I? Can I not draw this out? There we go. No. Okay, I'll, I'll take another one then. There we are. Thank you very much. Womp. Okay. Ha-ha! Now we are cooking with fire. Well, actually, we're not. We're, we're cooking... We're cooking with, with, with water vapor, really. But still, <laughs> it's quite effective, actually. I mean, you know, it's hot. That's all you really need. It doesn't need to be burning. It just needs to be hot. Uh, well, actually, you know... If anything is hot enough, it becomes burning, but just in a different way. There we go. Uh, I mean, it would be fair to say that this isn't exactly the best designed vehicle. I, I, I would, I would accept such criticisms, but it's a pretty fun-looking vehicle. I think we all have to agree. Uh, can I, can I, can I just, just draw things? Can, no. Okay. Yeah. Can I now draw things? No. Apparently, I can't. Apparently, it wants me. To go in there. Let's let's move away. There we go. I'm still trying to work out what what governs when I can and cannot do stuff. Like if I stood over here, would I be able to build? Hmm. Could I? Hmm. All right. We're gonna go in then. Let's go in. And hopefully, wherever we are. Oh, this looks a little bit more sinister. Uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. Very. No. No. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Can I? Can I? Now? All right. Well, we've got a Bowman's Respite. I think that's where we're going to wrap up this first recording. I do hope you've enjoyed as ever. If you're interested in the game, then do check the video description down below where there will be plenty of links to where you can subscribe to the mailing list and then be in with a chance of uh, finding your way into the closed alpha. There will also be uh, a Discord link as well. You can you can jump in there and just chat with people and find out a little bit more about the game as well. But that's going to be it from me. I really do hope you enjoyed. And if you did, then be sure to leave a like down below. And if you haven't already subscribed, then consider that as well. But until next time, and as always, do take care, everyone.